back to the Eco Schools Global Action Stay campaign. We've made it to week three. This week is all about empowering climate action. So what is climate? Remember, this is different to weather. Weather is the state of the atmosphere on a day-to-day -day basis. Today is partly sunny, partly cloudy. Climate is the state of the atmosphere over a long period of time. Bermuda has a subtropical climate. So climate change is a long-term change in temperatures globally. Over the last hundred years, the climate temperatures have warmed by 1.2 to 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit globally. This is, may not seem like much, but it's had a huge effect on the planet's environments, and it's caused by the increase in human activity, such as burning of fossil fuels. So today we ask you to go on outside and check your climate. What do you see, taste, smell, hear, feel? Speak to a family member about the changes in climate over the last 10 years. Do we have more hurricanes? Are our summers hotter? Are winters wetter? Share your thoughts on climate change using the hashtag MyActionsMatter or upload a picture to our Padlet page. And you can find the link on our Eco Schools Bermuda webpage. See you tomorrow for Action 2 on Food Miles. Hey viewers, and welcome back to the Eco Schools Global Action Days campaign. Today we are on Action 2, Food Miles. So find a few products in your kitchen, whether it's your fruits, vegetables, rice, beans, or even nuts. Now take a look at the label telling you where the product was produced. Was it grown naturally in Bermuda, or was it transported from another country? Find some of those countries on a map and calculate how far that is from Bermuda. I bet that's a lot of food miles. Can you find an alternative product that's grown on the island? Do you know where your closest farmer's market stand is? Show us where you get your local produce using the hashtag MyActionsMatter or post straight to our Padlet page. Find the link on our EcoSchool Bermuda webpage. And tune in tomorrow to hear from one of our newest education members for Action 3. Hi viewers, welcome back to EcoSchool's Global Action Days campaign. One of the major effects of climate change is an increase in extreme weather. The number of natural disasters has tripled in the past 40 years. So, for week three, action three, the focus is on emergency planning. Now, this isn't exactly something that we're a stranger to here in Bermuda, and your family may already have a hurricane survival plan waiting to spring to action. For the sake of this exercise, imagine that your home has been struck by a natural disaster unexpectedly. Discuss with your family what you would do if there had been no time to prepare. Who would you call? Where would you go if your house was in danger and what would you bring with you? Create an emergency plan and share it to Facebook or Instagram with hashtag MyActionsMatter or upload a photo to our Padlet page. You can find the link on the EcoSchools Bermuda webpage. Welcome to week three, action four of our Global Action Days campaign. Today we're exploring the wonderful world of chocolate. Think of your favorite chocolate treat. If you have one in your kitchen, find it and look at the label to find out where the ingredients were produced. This bar says that the cocoa beans were grown in Africa, but the chocolate itself was made in Belgium. You can learn about this step-by-step -step process of making chocolate in the video link provided. Draw a picture of your chocolate's journey and share it on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag MyActionsMatter or you can upload it to our Padlet wall on the Eco Schools Bermuda page. The next time that you're buying chocolate, see if you can find a label that shows that the chocolate was grown sustainably and consider the people and the environment. Have fun on your chocolate exploration and see you tomorrow for our next action. Hey viewers and welcome back to the Eco Schools Global Action Stay campaign. We are now on week three, action five, what is on your feet? So did you know that on average there are 20 billion shoes that are made every single year? Shoe manufacturing and shoes in general can pose many threats to the well-being of our planet as toxins, chemicals and fossil fuels are produced and can leak into the environment during the first and last steps of a shoe's life cycle. So we challenge you to go on and find all the pairs of shoes in your house, put them in a big pile, make one pile of shoes that you wear every day and one pile of shoes that you don't wear as often, take a picture of it, discuss with a family member. Why do you think you bought all these shoes? Could someone else use them? How can you avoid buying so many shoes that sit in your closet? Share your thoughts and comments on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag MyActionsMatter or upload it to our Padlet page on the EcoSchools Bermuda webpage. We'd love to see how many extra shoes you've got that you don't wear. I know my pile is big. See you tomorrow for Action 6 on Travel Tactics. Hey viewers and welcome back to EcoSchools Global Action Days campaign. Today is Action 6 where we will be focusing on travel tactics. Do you ever wonder how much CO2 you create when jumping in your car? There are other options for traveling around the island. Have you ever ridden a moped, the bus, or the ferry? Can you think of which travel option has the lowest CO2 emission on the island? 
You can even try out pollution-free options. Discuss with your parents where you could walk or paddle. Maybe you can make a plan for the future. For example, every Thursday I will walk or ride my bike to school. Share your travel plans on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag MyActionsMatter or post to our pilot page. Find the link on EcoSchools Bermuda webpage. You are only one day away from finishing this campaign. Hi viewers, we've come to the end of our 21 day global action journey. Thank you for taking part and recognizing the role we have to play in respecting and preserving our environment. Now it's time to reflect. In this calm space, recall the intention you set and the practices and acts you've completed. Congratulate yourself and celebrate with friends and family. Don't forget to take a photo of your celebrations. You can share your photo to Facebook or Instagram with hashtag MyActionsMatter or upload it to our Padlet page.